All right, guys. Now we're talking about this uh, wheel pass as a concept, and the concept is very simple. The idea of having uh, a grip on the legs and then another grip on the body, right? On the upper body. So let's say here he changes the, the nature of the position by laying down and creating just more of a, a, a seated a laying guard than a seated guard, right? So he's using his legs a lot more now, using that knee shield to control distance. Now, a lot of people go into this pass, I like this pass a lot, where he cut this bottom leg here, and with the intention of fitting the knees together. Uh, someone cupping here and even making a grip here. Okay, this is really good control. And then from here, we're gonna come to the, the, the lapel, okay? Now, I'm gonna talk about how I'm grabbing here in, in a couple of different ways. But the idea of this pass is we're getting the upper body again, just like how we did before, but a little different grip. And we're starting to work our pass, okay? Now, you see, when I go to do this pass here, a lot of times here, he's gonna be resisting. And when he resists, he's scissoring his legs, he's trying to push, like if you just scissor your legs, uh, yeah, like that. So you see, he's he's forcing me back with his legs. He pushes me away from him, all right? Because my arm is through his leg, his leg pushes me back, okay? So to avoid this, and give you a, a little different option here, what I'm gonna recommend you try is pumbling your arm through the shin from the beginning and grab the end of the pants here, okay? That way that leg is now in front of me, to the side of me, and is not intertwined in my, in my arm. Another good reason to make this grip as opposed to this one, if my opponent was to recover this knee open, he automatically has a lasso. So I'm basically putting myself in lasso guard if he's able to recover that knee and not let it be smashed, okay? Although we do wanna keep it smashed, it's gonna be safer for me to grab it like this, okay? I still wanna use my chest, my body position to control the position of that leg. So I never really let him open his legs. I want to respect the grip that he has here because he can uh, threaten me with loop choke. So I want to make sure I'm not putting my head close to his hip where I can slip right into a, a threatening loop choke position. So I'm looking to make this grip close to his collarbone. I'm going to make that grip and I'm going to pull my elbow to my hip, okay, keeping him bent as much as possible. At this moment, I'm looking also to get my leg free. So there's a few ways to do that. I can kick my leg back. I can knee slide through his shin, okay? Or what I like to do a lot is I just windshield wiper over, okay? Now from here, my head is up high in his collarbone, around his shoulder. I'm pulling in, in tight here as well. And I'm extending with my right arm away, keeping those legs away from me. Now his free leg may try to come over my head, might try to grab my body, but there's nothing for him to latch onto, okay? Now I wanna keep him on his side. I'm gonna start walking my hip down and, and sweeping the ground as I push his hip to make him go flat here. Once I get him flat, I'm gonna put a door stop next to his hip with my elbow, controlling him here. And I'm also gonna to start to think about controlling his arm because I know he's gonna to start to use it to his defense as well. Okay. So before I even think about controlling his upper body, as we finish this pass, I'm thinking about really locking down on his hips, his lower body, okay, to stop him from having a good recovery. Okay. Hope you guys give it a try. Hope you guys like it. And uh, let me know any of your, your problems, concerns, difficulties on this pass. Uh, I'd like to help you out with it wherever you're trying it from. All right? Good luck.